Michigan State hockey head coach Danton Cole is used to the busy tasks of being head coach, but his simple love for the game of hockey began years ago in Port Huron. One of the kids down the block wondered if I wanted to start it, so I was around five, and he went over and got a bunch of used equipment and went out and started playing, and, uh, you know, that was a long time ago, but really liked it and uh, was in Port here until fourth grade and then uh, moved over here to Lansing, and that was just after Munn was built, so, you know, we started going to games, uh, I think, when I was in, geez, fifth or sixth grade, and uh, we had season tickets for a long time, and, and back then the local... Hockey Association was Glaha, Greater Lansing Amateur Hockey Association, and uh, all the kids, so we'd, we'd all come to the games, we all had our, uh, our, our red uh, hockey jackets on, it was just, it was kind of a place to be, and then, you know, it was something when, when you're, you're coming Friday and Saturday nights in the winter and seeing it is, you know, you, you kind of, that was, this was kind of like our NHL, we kind of pictured uh, this is a, a place we wanted to play. And play he did. Cole was a part of Spartan hockey from 1985 to 1989. With many good memories, one stands out the most. Winning the national championship my freshman year. We learned what it was like or, or what we needed to do to be a Spartan right away. And, uh, you know, just the culture was, was real strong here in terms of how we did things on and off the ice. And, you know, how that team got going, um, is, was 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 pretty interesting because the year before I think they had lost uh, 11 or 12 uh, guys off off of probably one of the best Michigan State hockey teams and uh, you know, we came in with 11 freshmen and you know the special things I think with, with hockey you know you remember the wins and you remember some moments and things but it's always I always think it's it's the players that you're around and probably my best friends uh, today you know Coach Luongo who I'm still uh, working with was one of my roommates in college. From college to the pros, Cole played 11 seasons of professional hockey and even won himself a Stanley Cup with the New Jersey Devils. You know, to actually go through it, it was it was a pretty incredible experience, and um, it is something that defines you. And, and it, it it's it's had a big influence on my life. And uh, you know what? It's it's something uh, I'm glad I went through. Following his NHL career, Cole gained years of experience still in hockey, however, this time as a coach, but that wasn't always the plan. It, coaching was, was, was never the plan. I, I thought when I was going to retire, I was going to be done, and uh, when they told me I was done, I was going to retire. That's probably a better way to put it. You know, that kind of happened, that's, and that's how life is. Um, you know, it kind of hits you, and, and all of a sudden you find yourself on a path, and, you know, now it's 20-some years later, and I'm, I'm doing the same thing. Back at his alma mater and working with a familiar coaching staff. We've got a, a similar uh, background as players from the standpoint of what we needed to do to be successful, uh, and therefore kind of arrive at similar ideas about uh, what what needs to be done uh, for a team to be successful. The best part about it is nine years ago when I first started coaching with them. So the coach he is today is leaps and bounds ahead. He was great then, but he always strives to get better. It's the same expectation he holds, the expectations he holds his players to. Having coached a variety of different levels, Cole understands what it takes to win. Coaching is real. Whether you're, you know, and I've been, you know, with with men in pro hockey, and then the younger guys with the NTDP and then in college, which is kind of right in between. And there's a lot of similarities in, in all of them. And uh, I, the growth of the player is, is, is the fun part when you see them get, you know, better on the ice, when, when you kind of see things come together for them and, um, and when you see them grow off the ice. And I think uh, at college and at the NTDP level, the, the neat thing is, is, is compared to the pros, you spend a lot more time with them off the ice. And you know, here we're seeing guys get degrees, and we're, and we're seeing them, you know, just really mature as, as young men. Coach does a good job about being around, always having his door open if you need to go in and, and talk to him. I think he's very good at. Um, you know, he does his homework on things uh, outside of even the hockey. He's educated to know, so when you do come in with a problem, you know, he's willing to help. Danton go, tells our guys a lot, hey, you bring, you bring the effort and the energy uh, every day, and we'll, we'll supply the rest. My, his passion is awesome. Like, if you've seen him in a locker room, He's professional, he's detailed, he's honest, but then when he gets going and caring about something, it, you, the whole locker room grabs onto it. And very often, whether it's in between periods, 
prior to a game or simply during the middle of a practice. His voice and his passion comes out and it pushes us all to get better. In East Lansing, Alexis Downey, WKR Current Sports.